in the past 24 hours, a lot of things happened in the world of AI. Big announcements from OpenAI to big releases from Meta. In this three minute video, I will quickly show you what you need to know. First of all, Meta announced their true augmented reality glasses called Orion. These glasses, once you wear them, they actually project onto the reality outside. They are see-through. So if you're wearing it, if I look at you, I can see your eyes, but it's not just glasses. They have a wristband that you need to wear with it and also a processing device that is out there that is separate from the glasses, reducing its weight. So this is one of the quick demos. You can actually see, you can have video calls, have games on the side, and all of the processing is actually happening on this separate puck device right here. And you can actually wear a wristband. So for example, if you wanna give input to this AR, although they can do hand tracking, you don't wanna look like this, then you can actually wear the wristband and quietly actually provide input to the glasses while just doing this. Then they also released MetaQuest 3S. It's basically MetaQuest 3, but a cheaper version that reduces the barrier of entry for other people to get involved in augmented reality. And I personally think that Meta is doing a great job actually inviting people in the world of augmented reality and virtual reality. But Apple's AR, although as high quality as it may be, it's so expensive that most people are not being able to use it. I think they're going to come up with a cheaper version, but we will see. Then the announcement that I'm most excited for, introducing Llama 3.2. So these new models are going to be multimodal from the ground up. So not only text, they can actually input audio, video, images, all of the above. Here's a demo. They are actually uploading an image and then asking a question based on that image and you'll be able to get a response. One amazing thing is that you can upload your own pictures and ask the model to edit it. I haven't seen any other major AI company allow you to do that. So for example, you can upload this image and change the color of my suit. So really amazing work from Meta and it's all open source. So more exciting things to come. Finally, they announced a clear version of Ray-Ban smart glasses. They also added a few features such as live translation. So once you wear the glasses, if you're speaking Spanish and I'm speaking German, we'll still be able to communicate and they give a demo on that as well. Because I just ordered the new Meta glasses and we'll be making a really brief review video on that. Stay tuned for it. And finally, the Meta product lineup such as Instagram, WhatsApp, Messenger, Facebook, all of them got the voice mode. I think moving forward, all of the new major challenges that we will be facing is to make this voice communication more natural, more human feeling. And I think OpenAI is way ahead of that. Talking about OpenAI, they just announced that Mira Murati, the CTO of OpenAI, who's been there for six and a half years and was involved in making major strides, major progress forward with AI models, the frontier models of OpenAI, she's leaving the company. And here's a detailed note if you want to read through it. But the long story short is that there are some rumors that OpenAI is actually eventually going to be a for-profit company. Right now, the overall evaluation of the company is $150 billion, And eventually, they want to give stakes to Sam Altman. And I, d I saw this coming from a mile away. I mean, a company that is generating so much value in general, the whole industry is growing. So I think it just makes sense that it's going to be a for profit. Should it be for profit or not? That's a debate for a whole another day. But I think it makes sense that there is enough incentive for everybody to actually give their 100%. And capitalistic models always win because everybody has their incentives to perform at their A game. Anyways, thank you so much to join the video. I will see you in the next one.